This is Drat Cat, back with, uh, Tales of, uh, no, no, damn it, Trials of Mana. Ah, we'll just continue where we left off. I just showed someone into the courtyard so they could set up a new cannon. Makes sense it would be beefing up the castle defending defenses with that with Altenia, Altena's troop movement. Kind of thing of it. I think the cannon mechanic said something about blasting all the way to Maya. It was almost like he was talking about shooting people out of that thing instead of cannonballs. Haha! <laughs> wouldn't that be something? Yeah, wouldn't that be something, huh? Um, ah, yeah. Von Voyage? Oh, <laughs> you mean my older brother. I'm Von Jour. I, I know you want to get back to Maya, but hang on. I'm still setting up my brother's invention. There are powerful beasts sealed within the mana stones. At least that's what it said in the book. What would happen if they were released? percent destiny, but the rest of your future is always shaped by your will. It's up to you to decide. We call that final 1% hope. What's that face for, huh? Why not get a reading from this old fortune teller? Yawn. Hmm. Eh, nothing is coming to me. That never happened. That's never happened. All I see is fairy creature fluttering around. Yes, a fairy like that. Eek! Oh my! Are you a real fairy? It's my fault. It's impossible to define the future of a person possessed by a fairy. There's nothing wrong with your gift. That gave me a cold sweat. I think I should rest for today. Close the door on your way out. The thought of the fortune teller has granted you a new ability. Time short by oh, that's so okay. Oh, you found a little cactus. <laughs> you want to discover treasure boxes? Need to find you one more time, right? Yep. Hey, little doggo! Beware the guard, dog. Ha! <laughs> nice. I'll tell you, we'll, we'll pull one over on, on us next time. We'll double the guard. Ah! 
that was a nice whip. Ah! Welcome. Lots of wares to browse. <laughs> Come again. What about you? Do you sell armor? Welcome. Lots of wares to browse. Oh. Um. Hmm. It's cheap. I love shopping. <laughs> Come again. You seem to be in a hurry, yet you're wandering around aimlessly. What's this about a cannon? I see. You're idling away your time while you wait. I suggest you spend your time talking to folks around town. You never know what useful information you may pick up. Once while I was taking my time on a stroll, I came across a cactus. And not just any cactus. This one would, could move on its own. It was quite a shock. Dear me, I prattle on now. Haven't I? Ha ha ha. Welcome. Come, take a look. No, no. Come again. I'm gonna try to do a full playthrough by where I never buy any items. All I've done is buy gear. Buy gear. What would Dad do at a time like this? Bye, son! This is why I have a bad childhood. To Lawrence, I highly re recommend shopping by the night market in Pfizer on your way. There are many things for sale there that may help you on your travels. Some rare items sold at the night market you can't buy anywhere else. Might as well take a look, right? I'm from Pfizer myself, so I love to recommend it to others. to buy items. That's my home. I sort of promised I wouldn't go back until I finished my mission. I'm willing to search. 
I saw some sort of cannon in the courtyard of the castle. I wonder what it's for. Bonjour. in this game. Oh, I know, honestly, it's not that hard. It's very fun, though. I haven't really ran into anything super challenging yet. <clears throat> I'm Von Jour, younger brother of Von Voyage, and he told me all about you. He even gave me this cannon to help out with your little adventures. Hop in! I'll send you back to my brother's place in Maya! Oh, no, 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 don't worry. I'm a much better shot than he is. Ready? I guess? to bricks? Lots of people. Lots of new things. Wow. Lots of food, too. Can I eat this? Yourself, Kevin. It'd be fun to cross swords or whatever with you sometime. First, we get the mana sword. Then, yes. I mean, I do like a man with a sword. Oh, oh Angela. Let's get this over with. All right. <laughs> Like how it makes all the retro sound effects whenever you hit things. Or kill things and stuff. Easy kick it. I can do without these enemies giggling like children, though. It's semi-disturbing to me. Yeah. <laughs> 
Oh, okay, so I'm on the right path. I got it. Let's take it out. Who does you <laughs> Did I just one shot that flyer in it? So we both use our strike skills. stores? I like your thinking, Angela. Welcome. Lots of wares to browse. Ah. Oh, good choice. Looks good. I'll make use of this. Nice. <laughs> Come again. Bop. 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 Welcome. Lots of wares to browse. Oh, good choice. This is good quality. I love shopping. Oh, good choice. Use this. Watch, I sell all these items <laughs> like this. And then I learn a little bit later that, oh, there's a system that you can uh, take them and upgrade them and make them better, or synthesize them together to make better items. 
like in, what was it? Tails. Which Tails was that? Oh well. I think it was in Vesperia. Yeah, it was in Vesperia. I'm preparing to cast off, but it's taking a while. Why don't you take a walk and come back a little while, in a little bit? Okay. This is gonna be the same the whole way through, isn't it? Lame! How did I not notice this? Uh, didn't have anything anyways. Oh! Doggo? This merchant town is full of artisans selling their wares. Gotta watch myself or I'll end up spending too much. Oh! You found a little cactus. Okay, what do we get? Check how many undercards are in the wheel. Prize here. What? What? Investigate. What's the moon stand for? Once it's dark, the night market here is open for. Oh! Gotta wait until dark. <laughs> I can actually shift it to. I wait. Welcome. Lots of wares to browse. Bumpkin. Wood damage. <laughs> I was actually kind of hoping that you sold like costumes and stuff. Welcome to Merchant Guild's Night Market. You won't find any of these wares in any other shop. Careful, there are some dangerous items on sale at the Night Market, but it's hard to get your hands on them elsewhere. Looking for labor? Normally, I'd offer you a deal on an indentured servant. Oh, no! But I'm sold out. Oh, what? Someone already bought the last bratty boy I had. That kid had a few screws loose kept saying he was a prince or something. What the? Welcome. Lots of wares to browse. <laughs> Come again. <clears throat> well, so far, this has been a disappointment. <clears throat> Hello. Hello, ladies. We're the Aurora Sisters, famed entertainers <coughs> of the night market. Shall we dance for you? 
Um. Sure. But it's gonna make me feel uncomfortable the whole time. Just because I'm recording. Now she's gonna come and say, it's like, that was a thousand lucre. What? Thought of Aurora's sisters gained you a new ability. Oh, okay, so it was worth it. Uh, increases magic attack by 5% in battle. Hmm. Okay. Oh. <clears throat> I never thought I'd find one of these. Where'd they get this? Welcome to the night market. You find lots of rare things for sale here. You're interested in the late in the night market. Aren't you a little young to be out so late? <clears throat> You're an adventurer, right? If you need to get somewhere, come by the docks and see me. People's lives are 100% destined. Your future is already decided. There is no hope. Don't bother. You know, you can always reset your training points and try again. It'll cost you, though. <laughs> so who wants their points reset? What? No, I think we're good. I see a bunch of time wasters. Is that it? So if I wanted to do that... Okay, whatever. Was it what I was hoping? I was hoping for something else. Shh. Look, they're on a horizon. I saw something move. I bet it was a ghost ship. I heard some skippers talking about it. Ooh, I wish I could ride on a ghost ship. It's always been my dream. Oh, sorry, I'm Matello, and as you can see, I'm obsessed with the supernatural. I really hope the ship's haunted. <laughs> Why the obsession, though? Oh, I I'm not afraid, though, if that's what you think. <laughs> I think we know what's gonna happen next. We're gonna be on a ghost ship. It's Tales of Vesperia all over again. Which this game probably gave him the inspiration. <clears throat> There's a mysterious item called the Mir Minor Mallet, but even a merchant guild that runs the night market hasn't gotten its hands on it. Okay. Some say the merchant guild runs busier, <clears throat> but it's e really just a bunch of old coots around town trying to sound important. Laughable. to discover. Yarr! Welcome to Pazir. I am a, I'm on the tourism board for our fair merchant town. You don't look like you're from around here. 
If this is your first time, make sure to visit our famous night market. It's one of a kind. <clears throat> You'll find rare items for sale. And don't forget to watch the Aurora Sisters' captivating sideshow. You won't regret it. Oh, before I forget, the night market. It's only open at night. Enjoy. Destination Palo Board. That'll be 150 loot crate. Coming aboard? Yep. All aboard! Fateful stirrings. I wonder what Laurent is like. Uh, I can't wait to see it. Get things we need in Palo. Okay? Oh, we're so running into a ghost ship. Port is now a territory under the control of the Navarro Nation. Move along. Palo is in a terrible state. We should ask around town and find out more. There could be a lead on one of the mana stones after all. You are adorable. These Navarro agents standing around are freaky. Citadel Lawrence. I doubt there's any new weapons. I'll actually be really welcome. Lots of wares to browse. Okay, good. I was gonna say I'd actually be really mad. Come again. Like I just purchased, upgraded all my stuff, and spent most of my money. On that note, I think I'm done recording for the, for the night. Uh, we'll call this an episode. I will see you guys in the next one. You guys take care out there. <laughs>